What's going on guys, it's Frager here again, and welcome to part 3 of our Christmas Village build. So in this part, we are just going to be building up a toy workshop, so let's get right into that. Alright, so for this toy workshop, we are just going to be using the same build palette that we have been using for the rest of the houses in this village. And I really wanted this workshop to be massive, and I think the size is perfect for this village, because there aren't too many houses here, and it's not super big, but it's also not super tiny. So I'm really happy with the size of this workshop. I also wanted to have a lot of tiers and a lot of depth to this workshop, so I ended up going three stories tall on this workshop, and I think that is the perfect height for this workshop. And I know it's not looking super great right now, and that's because we have just laid out this basic structure for the workshop, so now it's time to add the roof and make this workshop look a little bit better. Alright, so now that the roof is done and this workshop looks so much better, it's time to do the interior. So for this interior, I did want to have the second level be sort of like this balcony overhanging the main part of the workshop here. And then for this lower part, I wanted to have some benches here, and I added some decorations and stuff to make it look like there were toys being made. And then this back area here is supposed to be like the loading dock for the sleigh, and I added a few crates here to sort of make it look like there were toys being loaded onto the sleigh, and for this sleigh, it took me a lot of tries to get the right design, and I'm still not happy with the design I came up with, but it looks alright. But anyway, that is the entire workshop built up, and that's all that I wanted to get done in this part. So if you're excited for part 4, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you have not already. But anyway, that's going to be it for me today, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.